say, Joel, uh, I tell you, this is exciting. Uh, I've always come home from camp trips and try to throw together a little video presentation. And this time I just emailed to Joel, and Joel did it himself. And so that was a blessing. Amen. The Lord. Uh, but some, just some snapshots. Let me just give you kind of the, uh, uh, the, the chronological order of things. We just picked up down there at the Pensacola Christian College. That's where our camp was held at. And so you see a picture of the campus there. And it really is an amazing campus for a Christian college, especially. The Lord has blessed that ministry so much. And they have a beautiful campus right there in Pensacola, Florida. And so you'll see some of the pictures of that. And our young people, there was about 800 kids at this camp. And so uh, uh, it was, uh, you'll see some of the uh, things, uh, their activities and their games in the gym. By the way, our team, our team for our one team, uh, was mountains. mountains uh, the, the theme was higher ground, and they used that uh, this, the, the song, our hymn, Higher Ground, and kind of gave a different arrangement to it. But they had different mountains as as teams. And so we were Mount Everest, and they made a note at the beginning of the week that Mount Everest has not won one one competition the whole year or the whole summer of camp. Uh, but that changed because of these five young people. Right? Right. competition to see where they stayed at and then we also just mentioned things we were able to go down to the golf and they got to stick their feet in the water there and find some uh, crabs and some different things there at the, at the beach and the coast and then we went over to a restaurant in Foley, Alabama and uh, we had heard about it several years ago and went over there it's called uh, Lambert's Cafe. Does anybody have to hear of Lambert's Cafe? It's, it's called the home of the throat roll. All right, and uh, it's just a, a, it's a down home cooking, and we knew they did this, and so we were standing in our, our sitting there in our seat, and, uh, so, and and there was a guy over across the way, and Rachel said, hey, give me a roll. He picked up that roll, and he whizzed it at us, and uh, the kids were like floored, and so that was a big game, and so they kept on calling town, but we had rolls flying everywhere, and uh, it was a lot of fun, and so you'll see some pictures from in there as well. There at Lambert's Cafe in Foley Island. There's also some at one in uh, Missouri over there by uh, Branson near there. So if you ever get that way, I'd encourage you to go to the home of the Throat Roll. You'll enjoy that very much. All right, Joel's going to start this video, and then after that, we'll have our young people come up and share some of their testimonies. Choose by 
and be a living sacrifice unto God. The two verses that really spoke to me were Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And Matthew 6, 4. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. And thank you for the many who gave to make this trip possible. Amen.
until Thursday night on July 20th when um, God really showed me what his will for my life was. He wanted me to serve him faithfully, honor my grandparents, and he has now shown me that he wants me to go to Pensacola Christian College. Amen. Amen. There's a song, there's a couple of songs that we sang during the week where it said, um, I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender. Um, where the song states, I have decided to follow Jesus, that no one join his law will follow, and the world behind me and the cross before me, I will not turn back. I will serve God with my whole heart and faithfully. Christian, Christian families, churches should be strong in the Lord, serve Him faithfully with their whole heart. And um, be better witnesses. And like Kayla stated, um, how we need to show on the outward, not only with the inward, but outward appearance that we are Christians and we'll stand up to what we believe in. Yeah. This verse is not
hey, you should be a Christian like me. Why would they want to? There's nothing right. different about you. And so that's when she said, if you want to make a difference, you need to be different. And like Kayla said, that is very hard for teenagers at that age because they want to fit in and they want to be normal and not weird. But if we're going to be different, we're going to have to be a little different. So if we're going to make a difference, we're going to have to be a little weird. So yeah. I thought that was really good and I really enjoyed it. She gave some good verses um, to take home and, and to look to look up and to have yeah, papers that we can go through. And I even read some. She had a great verse in Job that she's memorizing. And a lot of things that um, Mark has been preaching on in Romans were just laid out for the kids again in, on their on a teenage level. And it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot of fun in the van, you know, a lot of sleeping, a lot of yelling, a lot of singing. Um, it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. And um, I'm thankful that God let me go, even though I was so happy to be in my own bed last night. <laughs> I slept on the little mattresses that were like this thick on the bunk beds, and I was like, oh. But it was good. And um, I, want to, I want to thank you all and tell you that I appreciate you um, making it possible for us to go. Yeah. Again, thank you. Uh, I trust that you looked at your giving as an investment, and that you invested in five young people this week that um, could really make a, a difference for a lifetime and impact uh, many, many more people. And so, thank you so much for giving and for allowing us to go. And uh, uh, it truly was a blessing. Let's stand together.